Yo, what's up guys, Griffix here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Naruto logo like the one I'm showing you on the screen right now. Okay, first, let's start with making a new file. Let's make it 2560 by 1440p. Alright, let's start by uh, picking a font. The font I'll be using is Ninja Naruto Regular. Download link will be in the description to get this. Okay, so you would think that you would just type in this add a gradient and you're done but unfortunately that's not how it works you have to start with n make a new copy all right now in the original naruto you can see that the text is uh more close together so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to make it so they're kind of close, but not touching. We're going to add a gradient to each letter. So double click. Go to gradient overlay. And as you can see, I already have my gradient set up. But... For color, FDB 600, EF 2F 23. Now, hold Alt and move these to each letter right there. Now, right now, just as a guide, I'm gonna make a black background because now what we're gonna do. So I'm going to make a new folder, double click this, add a stroke, and this one's going to be white. Make it about the size that would work for you. And now we're going to have to add a blue outer stroke as well. So to do that, you can see that you can't add another stroke. So to get around this, you just have to make another group, throw it in there. And now you have to make another stroke. But this time I'm going to bring in my sample image. Just to sample from. Stroke. Color. Nice. Now we can get rid of that. As you can see now we have a blue stroke. With our white stroke outside of it. And it's about the same size. I'm just going to keep it how it is now. But what we do have to add now is a drop shadow. And so now we basically have the drop shadow. Let me just angle this to what I think is good. I'm gonna pull this out a little bit. Yeah, that seems pretty good. All right, that seems pretty good. But now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna fill in this. Take the same color that we have for our drop shadow. Take your brush and just color this in. In the, in the original Naruto logo, there is not a gap here. Even though it is a drop shadow, that's not there in the original so I'm just gonna fix that by taking the pen tool and just dragging and uh, now we have our Naruto logo now we have to make those rings that we had before that I showed earlier so now what we're gonna do we're gonna take our ellipse tool we're just gonna That seems good. And now I'm gonna take a sample. And I'm going to take that and just color in. And now I'm going to make a new layer. And scale this down. Let's see where we are. That seems pretty good. So now I'm gonna take that and get rid of that. And I'm gonna scale this down. Just to see what we're doing here. That seems good. Now I'm going to duplicate that. Let's scale this up a little bit. Yeah, seems good. 
I'm gonna get rid of that. Take this. This is gonna be the last ring. And that's the other screw. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Delete. What is that layer again? I don't know what that layer is. What's that do here? Okay, well I'm just gonna screw it. We'll merge all of these together, actually. And now, what we're gonna do now is now that we have this merged, just turn this on. We're gonna, what we're gonna do now is that we're going to skew those rings like that. But we're not done. No, we're not done. And now we're going to take our transform. It's like we just made the track phone logo. But what we're now going to do is just put that right there. Check this out. Seems like they're a lot more thicker in the original Naruto, but it's fine. I think I think that looks a little bit nicer. And now what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna add the little curl right there. You can make it thicker if you want to, but I'm not too worried about it. As this is only a tutorial. But if you want to go back and fix it, make those thicker, make it look perfect, by all means, you do you boo boo. So right now what we're going to do, we're going to make a little curve with the pen tool, and this will take several tries to get it perfect. Um, Alright, so that's your Naruto logo. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be making more tutorials in the future, some gaming videos on Counter-Strike and whatnot. I'm Griffix, and I'll see you later.